Today we're going to destroy all lands every turn. Well, hello there, random person on the internet. And if you prioritize the great joy of destroying lands over friendship, how about you get yourself some of these fun and fair magic cards over at cardkingdom.com, your place to go for anything magic related. Check them out, link is in the description. Now, let's blow up some lands. All right, on the play, we got some lands, some removal, ramp and soul diviner. Remove a counter from an artifact creature, land or planeswalker you control, draw a card. Okay, let's keep it. Play a Goldmire Bridge, pass the turn, see what our opponent is up to. Temple of Enlightenment. Scries to the top, pass the turn. Well, let's get some ramp going. Play a Dark Steel Citadel and a Cold Steel Heart. Choose blue as the color to tap for and pass the turn. Opponent plays a land and passes. Oof, and we miss a land drop. Okay, play a Mind Stone. Tap it to cast Maze Mind Tome. Pass the turn. Opponent plays a Planes. Banishing Slash to blow up the Mind Stone. Oh boy. Let's make sure we hit our next land drop with this Maze Mind. No, don't. Wow, we should have obviously used the Tome to scry end of turn and in our upkeep to make sure we hit a land drop. Yikes. Play a Soul Diviner and shamefully pass the turn. Planes. Icing Death Frost Tyrant. A 4-3 Vigilance Flying that creates an equipment when it dies. I kind of forgot this card existed. The sword looks pretty cool though. Now let's use the Maze Mind Tome. Tap it, put a page counter on it to scry. That is not a land. Uh, we could set a stop in our upkeep to scry again before we draw a card, but at this point I think we use it to draw a card anyways. And there's a land. Play it. Activate Soul Diviner, remove a counter from the tome, draw another land, use the tome to draw a card, another land, <laughs> fine, I'm not gonna complain about this one. Archon of Sun's Grace, okay, swing for four, well, I guess it's time to clean up this board already. Activate Soul Diviner, draw a card, play a Razor Tide Bridge, Wrath of God, destroy all creatures, Icing Death creates its sword, pass the turn. Another Archon, well, we already got removal for this one. Scry with the Tome, keep a land on top, draw it, play it, and just cast March of Otherworldly Light for X equals 4 to exile the Archon. Pass the turn. Behold the Multiverse to Scry and draw too, that's fine with me, and they pass back. Oh my, now we can set up for Annihilation here. Play a Khan the Great Creator. Is it to put an artifact card from our sideboard into our hand? Get a liquid metal coating, play a soul diviner, play a land, and I'm not sure if our opponent is prepared for what we are about to do to them next turn. Island and a Skyclave Apparition enters the battlefield, exiles a non-land permanent with mana value 4 or less, and when it leaves the battlefield, recreate an illusion with power and toughness equal to its mana value. Now they are probably targeting Khan with this. Ooh, yes, yes, let me untap with this soul diviner. How bad can it be? Equips the Icing Death and taps out for an Omen of the Sea. Scries, draws. Oh my god, this is gonna be so brutal. Play a land, liquid metal coating, and uh, let's see how our opponent feels about this one. Fall of the Thrun, destroy all lands. Oh, what's this? I forgot to mention, most of our lands are indestructible. How convenient. Let's pass back to our opponent and see if they still wanna play this game. Oh, place a land, attacks, icing death will tap down our blocker. Well, in response, activate liquid metal coating. Target permanent becomes an artifact in addition to its other types. Now we can activate Soul Diviner, remove a counter from an artifact, remove the lore counter from Fall of Thrun, take 4 and now at the beginning of our main phase, Fall of Thrun will get its first lore counter again to destroy our lands. Props to our opponent for staying in this, uh, but this is gonna happen every turn now. Play a replicating ring, 4 mana left, march of otherworldly light, x equals 3 to exile the skyclave apparition, create a 4-4 illusion token and uh, pass the turn. And uh, they just pass back. I mean, it's not like playing a land would get them anywhere if they don't have one mana removal. Reset the saga, draw a card, and here we go again. Destroy all lands. Swing for four. Play another replicating ring. Another soul diviner. Pass the turn. Oh, they actually play a land here. Uh, sure. Reset the saga. Draw a card with Maze Mind Tome. And, uh, yep, here we go again. And our opponent finally has enough. Now you might be wondering, have I tapped that like button yet? 
I don't know, have you? No, but you might be wondering, Fall of Fun will return lands from the graveyard to the battlefield in its second and third chapter. So what's the plan if we can't remove the lore counter? That's why the deck has various ways of exiling the opponent's graveyard, like this Bajuka ball, so they just don't have any lands to get back. But there seems to be another problem with this deck, and I don't know why, but for some reason this deck seems to cause connection issues with our opponents. Obviously, don't craft this deck to grind the ladder. It's more evil than strong, especially if you run into other decks that play Khan, or even worse, uh, farewell. Ooh, and another game. Okay, hand looks like a keep. Opponent plays Yorian as a companion. Let's hope they never get the mana to cast it. Play a land, pass the turn. They play a land and pass the turn. Play Seachrome Coast and Cold Steel Heart on black. Pass the turn. They play a Field of Ruin and pass back. Oh, if they don't have a counter here, it's about to get nasty. Play Liquid Metal Coating? Omen of the Sea to scry two and draw a card? Fine with me, I hope they're scrying into a land, because I think they're gonna need it. Use Liquid Metal Coating to turn their Shipwreck Marsh into an artifact, and then use March of Otherworldly Light for X equals zero to exile target artifact creature or enchantment with mana value zero, and uh, yeah, I think uh, we're gonna choose the land here. <laughs> wow, this is disgusting, and it's only gonna get worse from here. They play a planes and revitalize, draw a card. We draw our third Wrath of God. I don't think we're gonna use any of them. <laughs> play a Khan, turn their planes into an artifact, and then plus Khan to turn a non creature artifact into a creature with power and toughness equal to its mana value. Ah, uh, yeah, this plane has a mana value of zero, so. Yeah, I wouldn't expect anybody to sit through this, honestly. And of course, the comment section would uh, probably be on fire if there wasn't a bonus game. Alright, this hand looks like a keep. We are on the draw. And opponent plays a reliquary tower. Ooh, if they play colorless and artifact lands, we might blow them out with Khan soon. Sapphiran Void, Scryes, passes back. Hmm, so we could play the Concealed Courtyard untapped to play Soul Diviner, but we don't have any counters to remove yet, so play another bridge, pass the turn, Treasure Vault, an Artifact Land, Ooh, we're gonna get him with this Khan, and a Palladium Mirror taps for 2 mana, so they're gonna have at least 5 mana next turn. Play the Courtyard, play a Replicating Ring, pass the turn, land, Forsaken Monument, colorless creatures they control get plus 2 plus 2, and colorless sources produce an additional mana. Ay -ay -ay, that's actually pretty good against us. And a Maze Mind Tome. Use it to scry right away. Whoa, we miss a land drop, but this should be pretty good against them. Khan prevents our opponent from activating abilities of artifacts they control, and while we're shutting down their mana, let's plus it on this treasure vault to. Oh my jeez! Turn it uh, into a 2 2. <laughs> wow. I wish I could tell you that Phil fought a good fight, and this misplay didn't absolutely wreck him. I wish I could tell you that. But magic is no fairy tale world. And to be honest, he kinda deserved it for playing this deck in the first place. Hey, you wanna see more of my content? Well, how about you check out last episode where we go double infinite with Elishnor. This video and more, all in this playlist. Remember to tap that like button, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.